Hey guys, it's Mana here, and today we are going to play the Halloween special edition of One Way to Die. I was gonna use it for Mondays for Halloween, but then we ended up going to Erebus. We're gonna jump right in to play, if I can find my mouse, there it is. Random, of course. You snap awake again from what, from what seems like a dream where you died in a most horrible way. Clearly, I couldn't have. You say to yourself, it was only a dream. Still, you can't shake the feeling that dreadful things await you this day. And just like the dream, a roaring headache shoots into your brain right on cue. As the last of the dream dissipates, you remember that today is actually the last day the Finnegan Brothers Fun Park is open. You close your eyes once more to fight back the piercing pain of the headache. Take a deep breath and ready yourself for the hopefully imagined dangers lurking outside your bedroom door. But, do you stop and take an aspirin for that wretched headache? Or make a sandwich to fill your belly, your empty belly? Or just say fuck it and head to the car? Aspirin? Okay, you enter the bathroom in a blinded fury as the headache repeatedly stabs at your brain from all sides. After almost giving up hope, you spot it out the corner of your eye lying capless on the floor behind the toilet. Picking up the bottle and giving it a swift shake, you are rewarded with six little pills that you try to swallow, mustering what saliva you can in the process. The majority go down easily enough, but the last one just happens to get lodged in your throat a bit, causing you to hack and cough. It even hurts a little bit as you begin to worry about choking on it. Luckily, it dries, it dryly finds its way down to your stomach, washing down further with fall tasting sink water seems to help. That was a close one, you think, as you wash your face in the sink. Okay, maybe you're just being a bit paranoid about that? A smile crosses your face as you remember there is no time for such dark thoughts. It's the fun park's last day. You notice a candle burning on the edge of your sink for whatever reason. That's pretty weird. Blow the candle out, then grab a sandwich to disarm the trap. Okay. As you walk into the kitchen, the landline phone rings. That's right, you still have one. Who could it be, you wonder as you reach for the receiver? The cold chill of paranoia blowing its icy breath across your, the back of your neck. Hello? You greet the caller as the frayed edge, complete with exposed wire that you've been meaning to fix, rubs up against your elbow and rests right at the bend there. Unfortunately for you, there is a freak surge of power that pulses up through the phone line as you finally figure out who it is on the other end, allowing them to personalize allowing them the personalized horror of hearing you get electrocuted right there and then before the audio fizzles out, dropping to your knees, steaming a sizzling and sizzling from various orifices while pissing yourself profusely. You collapse in, into death. You have died from telephone electrocution. This is why I always use a wireless phone. All right, we snap away, blah, 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 blah. I'm adamant about that aspirin. Ah, uh, I died by creeper. What? Perhaps a shower and shit, you think, and <laughs> perhaps a shower and shit, you think, and head off to the bathroom to get cleaned up and perhaps choke, choke down a few aspirin for your wretched headache. You even start stripping down as you approach the doorway. By the time you get there, you are completely naked. First thing is first, though. You plop yourself down on the toilet and unleash hell while looking around for that pesky bottle of pills. You spy them on the ground right behind the toilet bowl bastard what the hell is all over my pant legs you try to bend and reach them without lifting either cheek from the seat unless you spray something somewhere just as your fingertips lightly brush the lid to the bottle you hear a weird scurrying sound you don't think much of it until you hear nice house you have that sounds familiar you think and super creepy as you look up to see a strange green cactus looking creature standing in front of you shaking and hissing a few seconds later, your whole bathroom is a smoking crater. You have died by creeper. Oh, nice house. I get it. When I read creeper the first time, I didn't think Minecraft. You know, I died in creative mode to a creeper once. That's not supposed to be able to happen, but somehow, some way, I managed it. I, I'm very avid about the aspirin. But maybe I should just say fuck it and not do the aspirin this time. I know that just... Don't judge me. Screw I'm doing the aspirin. Blow out the candle, then grab a sandwich. <laughs> ah. 
The light is just bright enough to blind you when you wander into the kitchen. Well, that, or you are too oblivious to notice the misplaced shoe lying in the middle of the floor. And what should have been shown again in slow motion replay, you stumble after clumsily tripping over the shoe. You stay upright enough, juking left and right, <laughs> juking left then right, but finally smack your head off the new granite countertop you just had installed. The look on your stunned and stupid face is priceless as you crash down onto the floor. The piercing pain wakes you up, but your body does not seem to respond as far as moving is concerned. You hear skittering going on around you as more and more parts of your body begin to sting in bitter outrage. At least you can still feel, even if you cannot move. That's a comforting thought. Or at least it was, until you realize the cause of your additional ills and are tiny mice. But lots of them. An absurd number, in fact. All of them highly interested in eating your supple flesh. Lucky for you, the shack takes you down into darkness before the blood loss claims your life. Wow, that sounds like a terrible way to go. Let's just go get a sandwich. I'm not doing well. You bust into the kitchen like a motherfucker, heading directly to the fridge to make a, the fastest and fillingest sandwich you can before heading off to the fun part. You are in such a hurry that hurry, you just start putting it together right there on the second shelf. Why bother taking it to the counter when all the fixings are just coming right back here anyway? Just as you place the top piece of bread on you, on, you hear someone very closely behind you say, Delicious. You whip your head around, only to get clubbed in the face and fall into darkness. Who knows how much time has passed, but something smells delicious indeed. You open your eyes to find yourself strapped to the table. Well, both your arms and one of your legs, as the other one appears to be missing. As you start freaking out, you see that that part of the leg is being cooked on the stove by the cannibal bastard who poorly took it off. He smiles and quickly comes over to finish the job with that brand new chef's knife you bought last week. Shit. Okay. Just a few minutes in the kitchen were all you needed to whip up a delicious sandwich to tide you over until you get to the fun park. But not even this mouth-watering beauty was enough to keep those creeping fears at bay. You were a little too jumpy when you were spreading the mustard. But it's only a butter knife, after all. What could really happen? You chew each bite very cautiously, randomly glancing up at the clock, then back to the table again. Every other time, you take a drink of water to wash down your mashed sandwich clumps, secretly fearing you will choke if there's not enough liquid lubrication present. You toss the plate in the sink and make your way to the front door as you swallow the last remaining piece. Delicious. Not as satisfying as fresh corn dogs, but it'll do. Let's go. Oh, well, we died to that before, too. Yeah, you'll be fine. Let's just do that. See what that... Okay. Wow. You casually walk over to the top of the staircase and take a deep breath before descending to the landing. You creep down the stairs at a snail's pace, freaking out every time they squeak a bit. When you are about halfway down, you see a blue ring of, of light appear on the ceiling above the last step with a whooshing sound. What in the moldy fuck is that? You wonder as you take a few more steps to get a closer look. And as you approach the last step, you can see the center of this blue ring has a weird, reflective quality. Well, I never, you exclaim as you step off that last stair onto the landing and hear yet another whooshing sound before you start falling forward. Oh balls, you scream as you look down to see a similar yet orange ring below you, and you are tumbling into it. However, you can see the top of your head as if from above, seconds before your face smacks into the edge of the ring, knocking you out. Your body whips through the portals at increasing speed, bashing against the ceiling and floor with each pass passing until you are just a bloody stump. I think this is my favorite death thus far. Portal holds a very dear place in my heart. So I love the jokes. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do.